What's up, P-Timers? Phil here from Peak Time Racing. Let's go ahead and open up a bunch of brand new Matchbox cars. And we'll start it off with some Matchbox moving parts cars. This first one is a 2020 BMW M4 Cabriolet. Nice looking color on this one. Let's go ahead and pop this one open. Really odd looking packaging with the card kind of below here and up here. It's kind of weird how it has this middle thing right here. It doesn't really stand up or anything. It's right in the middle. So it's an interesting style of packaging that they use. We'll go ahead and pop open this car right here. And you can see this one with the moving parts, it's got the door just open right there. So we'll go ahead and shut that door right there for a second. We'll have a look at the car itself. So the car itself uh, looks to be just plastic all around, pretty standard, nothing particularly special about the actual build of the cars besides the fact that it just has the opening doors. I do like the exterior color with the nice interior. So it's kind of a nice offset we got the the darker outside the lighter inside there's the moving parts and there's the details on the front end of that right there nice bmw look i mean this is i think a lot better than the brand new bmws that have come out with that huge kidney stone grills on them they're they're kind of crazy looking not really for me but we do have nice looking wheels on this one and on the rear we've got some nice details on there and also does does it say matchbox right there i think it does say matchbox or something just right on the back right there but pretty nice just the doors that open on this one just an overall nice looking design and our next matchbox moving parts car is a 2018 land rover vogue se there we go right there looks like a range rover i don't know why they call it the land rover vogue i've never really heard of that might be just uh maybe in a different area of the world they call this the vogue so you guys let me know in the comment section below looks to me just like a range rover but let's go ahead and open this one up this one does have the rear hatch that opens up uh the trunk or the boot depending on where you are in the world uh from the front end though great looking nice front grille from the side great detail and then we go to the back and there it is that opens just right up right there we've got it even says range rover on the back so i don't know why they call it something different they do actually say that it's a range rover right there but uh i've always been a good fan of these i think they're a nice looking suv they're not known to be the most reliable cars in real life but as a design standpoint i think they look excellent really really cool 2016 chevrolet camaro for our next moving parts car we'll go ahead and pop this one open right here and this one is different from the other ones it does have the hood that opens up right here so let's go ahead and look at the detail of that engine very very nice i like that we can even open it up a little bit more so we can see more detail of that v8 sitting in there there is the front end right there we'll actually close the hood now and get a nice good profile of this car we look at it from the side we've seen this camaro done before from matchbox they've had it as like the matchbox main lines but without the opening hood and there it is nice details on the back end the exhaust plastic base of course typical of matchbox but all around pretty cool we'll go ahead and pop open that hood again there we go we'll just slap it open just like that and you can see from the side profile how much it does open up but very nice moving parts matchbox camaro 1963 chevy c10 pickup truck this one also with the hood that opens up on here let's go ahead and get a close look at this one right here we'll see that big hood that opens up on this one right here i closed it when i took it out but we'll go ahead and look around the truck first nice looking kind of a bronzy color to it you have the big grill on the front end big hood really thick looking hood on there we look from the side it's got the classic wheels on there and if we look at the top we can see a nice bed on the inside and on the rear end just says chevrolet let's go ahead and pop that hood and we'll see that's that's about as much as it goes it actually doesn't stay open okay so that's interesting if we force it open of any sort no it doesn't stay open at all so we do have to look at it from the inside not as detailed on the inside as the camaro was it's kind of just a plastic piece single plastic piece that's put in there no painting or anything like that so a little bit disappointing as far as the detail goes but from the outside it actually looks like a really nice looking truck matchbox super fast mercedes g63 amg 6x6 this is my all-time favorite matchbox car ever the casting of this one i've got a uh, lots of different colors of this one 
in matchbox format and there we have it right there let's go ahead and pop this one open this is actually the only one that they have that has real rider wheel tire combination on here so we'll go ahead and pop it open it does come with the classic matchbox box this is just a empty box so we'll go ahead and throw that aside and if we look at the six by six right here you can see from the side the six wheel tire combination. I love this car in real life. It's my one of my favorite cars in real life as well. And these are the real riders on here. So as all the other ones that do come in plastic, we actually have another one to open up today, which will have the plastic wheel tire combination, but just a fantastic looking car, an absolute beast of a vehicle. I absolutely love this one. I know I've said it before, but it's just great. It's an excellent looking casting. I was so happy that this one came as a matchbox. And we'll move on over to a matchbox five pack. This is an MBX airport five pack and it's got a Lamborghini in it? Very crazy, okay. Not really understanding why a Lamborghini would be at an airport, but we're gonna go ahead and just rip this completely open right here. And then we'll just pull the cars out and we'll start it off with that Lamborghini right here on the top. And there we have it. Look at the graphics and stuff on the side of this one. This is a Lamborghini Gallardo police car. We've got the nice blacked out wheels on there. Guess it patrols all the speeding cars at the airport. I don't know why you need a Lamborghini to chase cars at the airport. I guess if cars or anyone got onto the actual airstrip, you need a fast car to chase them down. So here it is. Here's the, the fast Lamborghini Gallardo that chases it down. You can see all the graphics and stuff that says on the side right there. Nice looking front end. The lights on the top right there, but an excellent looking Lamborghini. Our next car from this five pack is perhaps what I think one of the worst cars ever made. I am not a fan of this car at all in real life. It is the Toyota Prius, the most boring car ever made, but I get why it's made. It's, it's definitely uh, made to save gas, get people from point A to point B, but it's so ugly looking. I just, I, I just don't like it at all. But this one, it looks to be a ride share one. So perhaps like an Uber of some sort. It's got the Matchbox M on the side of it, gold wheels. Very, very ugly. Never buy a Prius in real life, unless you just don't care about cars at all. But there we have it in Matchbox format, the Toyota Prius. Car number three from this five pack, we've got a transportation bus, and this one is called the Swift Shuttle. So it definitely shuttles people from point A to point B within the airport to get to their plane, or perhaps maybe from the parkade from their car all the way to the front of the airport so they can check in but uh, pretty neat looking, cool casting. We've got the airport logo on the side of it, Matchbox, and you can see the nice big bus engine in the back right there. And on the bottom, nice color to this one, but it's an all around, just a pretty normal looking bus that does transportation at the airports. And all of those big airplanes need some gas or petrol to transport them. So this one says airport gas tanker, and this one is called the petrol pumper right here. So it is a big truck and it transports all that fuel to the airplane. We've got the ladder on the back right there, the big fuel tank just on the top and just carries this one around, but it's an all around, just a good looking casting, nothing special about it. And it's made to do its job and it probably does its jobs pretty well. And car number 505 from this Matchbox 5 pack, we've got the Runway Wrangler. And this one, it looks to be one of those carts that uh, probably carries luggage, transports luggage. I guess all the luggage and stuff would be in here and they, they would uh, place it right into the airplane itself. Got big oversized tires on there. And this thing probably has a super strong engine, so it can definitely carry all that weight and all of that luggage. But it's kind of an interesting looking casting. It's kind of cool, it's kind of flat. It, it's, it's definitely not made to look good. It's made to function and it does that well. And next up, we've got a bunch of cars to open up from a Germany set. And we'll start it off with the Mercedes G63 AMG 6x6. I did say I have another one of these to open in the video. This is it right here. This one should have the plastic wheel and tire combination. So maybe we'll do a small little comparison. This says car number 12 of 12 and it doesn't have the full list of them on the back, but I do have several of them here to show you. Not the complete set, but we do have the best ones from this set. So let's go ahead 
and pop open this G63 AMG 6x6. This looks very similar to the initial released one that came out just a long time ago when they released, released this casting. I do have it, so I'll have to put a side-by-side -side comparison of that one, but you can see the plastic wheel tire combination on here. And if we grab the other one, we have a little bit more of a comparison. I really like this one. I just like the color better on it. And I like the look of the real riders on there. But overall, this casting is the best. This is, it's just gotta be, even if you include Hot Wheels and all that, it's probably one of my favorite castings ever made in a one in 64 skill model casting. But there we have it. Another color variation of the Mercedes G63 AMG 6x6. Audi RS6 Avant, also from the same Germany set. You can see the nice graphics on there. Let's go ahead and open the RS6 Avant. I wish these cars were more popular in North America. They're slowly starting to get to North America, um, but the RS6 and the RS4, RS2 Avant cars are so cool looking, so fast. Very well engineered from Audi. Just an excellent looking car all around. You can see that hatchback on there. So super functional, got lots of space and then extremely fast of a car. You don't wanna mess with these. If you see one of these on the road, you might think, ah, we could beat this RS6. Well, unless you have like a Tesla Model S Plaid Edition, I wouldn't touch one of these because they are very, very fast cars in real life. BMW i8. A very cool super car. We'll go ahead and pop this one open from the same Germany set, of course. This one's got an extra piece of plastic on the back of it here. We'll take that away and we'll have a look at the car itself. And there is an, I think it's an opening parts or a super fast uh, set that has the same BMW i8, but with the doors that open up. I think I do have that one as well in my collection. But uh, the i8, I think it's a really cool looking car. I think it's definitely, uh, doesn't get as much praise in real life as I think it deserves because it's very well made, very well engineered. It's cool looking. It's got the nice butterfly scissor doors on there. It's just an all around great looking car. Very efficient of a car, very fast. Um, very high tech. I really do like the BMW i8 in this matchbox format. Porsche 911 GT3 in red. There it is, very, very nice. Let's go ahead and open up the 911 GT3. Get a nice close up look at this one right here. You can see this one in its glossy red format. Nice looking wheels on there. Good looking front end on this one. Very, very clean looking of a car. Very glossy, shiny Porsche 911. An excellent addition to this Germany set. Mercedes-Benz Unimog U300. Quite an ugly looking thing from the front end. Let's go ahead and see how ugly it looks in its matchbox format. Go ahead and take a look. All right, maybe it doesn't look as ugly. I mean, it's still pretty ugly of a car, but this is made to be a truck. It's definitely not made to look pretty. It's made for function. And this color, this is one of those, that new kind of grayish blue color that's becoming very mainstream with uh, cars in casting format as well as in real life. I like the color, the car, kind of ugly, but functional. And one of the best cars in this set, the 2006 Audi R8. There it is, one of the original editions of the Audi R8, and it's become very popular now in real life with all the way up to nowadays. I mean, it's hard to believe that the R8 was out in 2006, but there we have it. It's got the classic fins on the side right there, blacked out wheels on this one. Nice detail on the front end says Audi R8 on there. If you look at it from back right there, just an excellent design of a car. And this one, I don't know if this one would be a V10 or a V8 variation of the R8. That's what they both come in, but uh, definitely an excellent looking car in Matchbox format. Super excited to get this one. And last but not least, we've got a Matchbox 9 pack. Let's go ahead and open this one up and see all the cool cars that we have inside. It does say there's an exclusive car in this one, which you can see on top. Do you know what it is? I will tell you here in a second. We'll grab that one first. It is the BMW i3. Another kind of ugly car, 
but it's a great little city car and I've heard that these are actually super fun to drive in real life as well but they're just they're just so ugly they're definitely I mean I wouldn't say it's as ugly as a Prius but it's definitely up there as far as ugly cars go but it is electric and I think it does have a gas motor attached to it as well if I'm not mistaken can't remember exactly but it's all around it's made for function it's made to be a city car does its job very well and next from this nine pack we've got the Volkswagen Carmen Ghia classic car right here nice looking green color on here white interior not much detail as far as that interior goes so so white and bright on the inside of it we've got some license plate stamping on the back end good detail on the rear end right there and on the front end you can see it's kind of not really my style of car, even for an old classic car. Not a huge fan of this one, but not too bad looking. They've done a good job making it. Audi R8, we've got another R8. This one in a very cool looking kind of matte bronze color. Very nice looking color. You can see that detail on the front end. You can see how that grill is kind of like half painted as well. The lights look really nice. We look on the back end right there nice looking detail for this audi r8 just very very cool we'll actually grab the other r8 we can compare them side by side so this one's super glossy and this one is matte with the bronze two very interesting colors for the r8s but i'm a huge fan of this casting speaking of classic can you get any more classic than a volkswagen beetle one of the best selling cars ever made and i mean it's just crazy. I don't even know if they still produce this. I've heard that uh, in possible some uh, areas of the world, they still produce the original Beetle. I'm not sure if that's true anymore, but such a classic look. I mean, if anyone, even if you don't know about cars, I feel like you know what a Volkswagen Beetle is. And here it is in the glossy red color, the Volkswagen Beetle from Matchbox. Next up, we've got a Subaru pickup truck. I'm not sure the exact name of this one right here. It is white. We've got blacked out wheels on there with kind of a little middle chrome, like looks like a bolt of some sort on the middle right there. Big bed on the back looking very clean on the rear end it's a very clean looking car it's just a classic pickup truck probably comes from japan well obviously it would if it's subaru and they're very popular over there 1969 bmw 2002 one of the original bmws a nice blue color right here with the white interior on there we can see from the rear end we've got some I like stamping and stuff for the rear taillights as well as the rear license plate. We look on the front end right there. It's a very clean, nice looking grill. It's an overall great looking car. They've done a great job at it. Again, not, not one of my things, not a huge fan of these kind of basic looking classic cars, but there's a lot of people that really do like them. So for you guys, enjoy this one. Hummer H2 SUV concept in white. We've got a big roof on the top of it. I guess this would be like a sunroof of some sort that kind of comes off right there. And this one says construct tax. I think something like that. I'm not too sure exactly what it means. Some sort of work truck that it is on the back. No license plate or anything like that. It does say actually it does say Hummer just right on the bottom right there. You can kind of see it in the lights right there. That's kind of interesting. Didn't really notice that. The grill black and basic grill not really an extreme amount of details on this car but i was always a huge fan of the hummers growing up i think they're a great looking vehicle and it's cool that they're bringing them back in electric formats now one of the coolest lamborghinis ever made the lamborghini lm002 the original suv it's kind of suv pickup style of a lamborghini but man these are so cool they came with a v12 in real life you can see the details and stuff in the back this is a very glossy black look on there these wheels look totally like correct for this style of vehicle we can see the nice aggressive front end i'm not sure really really what the purpose or history is behind the lm002 it's kind of a crazy big truck but it's a Lamborghini. It's cool. I really like it. Super, super nice. And our last car from our Matchbox 9 pack is the Chow Wagon. And this one looks to be a food truck and it's got the lobster cage on there. So this is a lobster food truck. You can see from the top, it's got some sort of see-through vents and stuff on there. Looks like this, this would open up or anything, but it does not. It's just all clean on the back. And we have an interesting colored on the front end right there. We'll actually see on this side, 
we get like different drinks and you can kind of see inside of it crab cakes lobster all that good stuff on there it's a very interesting casting in the matchbox format the chow wagon in the comment section down below let me know which was your favorite card that we opened up today don't forget to hit that like subscribe and follow and i'll catch you guys on the next one bye bye